In this test, the specimen was subjected to a 3 to 1 combination of lateral displacement and rotation in order to induce both shear and torsional stresses. The primary failure mode was shear dominated as indicated by the diagonal cracking at the bottom of the specimen. Once again, under lower levels of torsion, the lateral shear capacity of the pier is not significantly reduced. However, with this high level of shear, the torsional capacity is dramatically reduced. In addition, note the cracking at the upper front face of the specimen. The direction of load application was reversed for one component in this test to show that the face where shear and torsional stresses are additive will change based on the direction of loading. This test was another highly brittle failure, which is again shown by a sharp drop in the load carrying capacity of the specimen, and was also accompanied by the rupturing of several strands of transverse reinforcement.